Whew, what's going on? It is hot. It is hot. So, I'm gonna start off by saying, I've had a couple people reach out to me and want to send Wade and Zoe some things or even send us some things. I just threw that pin at myself. Um, <clears throat> I have had a P.O. box listed in my description for a while, but there was never anything coming to it. And so I stopped putting it in there. I still have the P.O. box. So I will start putting it in my in the in the description in the bottom. So if you do would if you would like to send something to them or send something to us, it'll be there. Um, so that being said, it's update time. I just took I just got chicken feed. Here, let me set you up. I just got chicken feed. And remember my cool little notebook that I made? And on June 29th, I bought two 50 pound bags of the chicken layer crumbles and two 50 pound bags of goat feed. Okay, so the goat feed, we're still good on it. So today is the 27th. The 27th, I'm, I'm the worst with dates. I also forgot how loud ducks, my female ducks were. That's already annoying. Please bear with me. So, on the 29th is when I got the lay feed. Um, the truth is, I already ran out of feed, but I had just stuck to the just plain spent grain. So, two bags of my chicken layers, my chicken crumbles, lasted about half a month, lasted about two weeks. Um, so, About two weeks so I just got more and I will write it down in here and just continue to keep track of it yeah I forgot how annoying that was continue to keep track of it and go from there I did also so right now we have been dealing with um, some kind of issue so we got a mixture of different birds we've got um, our lavender cuckoo orpingtons and we've got our I am Simonis that we got from a friend, Farah, and <clears throat> we have been keeping them separate from all the other birds because we had plans to have them in different pens. Well, uh, we also got a, a random bird from Murray McMurray Hatchery with our meat birds. So, we put them all in the chicken tractor. I had been moving them around and stuff like that. Well, something happened to them where they, they got hit hard by mites. So, we got them and we cleaned them, we dust bathed them, we gave them actual baths, uh, got the mites off them. So now they, they kind of, they got hit pretty hard. And the hardest one that got hit is the, the random chicken from Murray McMurray. And uh, that's actually his always chicken. So this is it right here. So this is Buckbeak. Say hello to Buckbeak. And for a while now, she has not been able to walk. She has not, she's been very, very anemic. Um, you could just tell. There's just no real color in her. Um, and so we've been giving her, we've been having her separated. And we've been watching her, making sure she's been able to eat and feed and stuff like that. She's doing a lot better now. And, and a similar thing kind of happened to some of our other birds. And it's just, it's just the new ones. None of our older ones have gotten an issue. So, uh, you can't see them right now. They're all over there munching down. Somebody threw something out the window. So, you loud crackheads. So, we had five lavender cuckoo orpingtons. Two ended up passing away from anemia. And one, actually, this I, we just think we've just found this out. This has nothing to do with the anemia, but pretty sure Honey ate one of my. Uh, my I am Samani's uh, we can't find it and she had one of my other ones in her mouth not too long ago so we had to we had to uh, uh, deal with that so but back to the anemia problem so we've been keeping them separated the best of our ability and yes they have been able to 
some of the older chickens have gotten into the back pen with them so they're they're all still fine the the mites are gone we de definitely make sure that we've given them dust baths and the ability to dust bath it has just been so kind of like moist and rainy here that there's not much dust for them to, to clean themselves off so i've actually had to get some uh so i got some ash out of our hour uh fireplace that has just been left over from winter time uh, and i put that in a bowl and i resorted to going up to my parents house and my dad has an old stove uh, old like a uh, old um not old it's not really old but <laughs> we call, we say old timey because you know, we're all cooking on pellet grills now right but he he cooks on a wood fire grill and so he has a bunch of ash so i've been grabbing it and giving it to the chickens so they can have dust baths and helping that the, like i said the mites are gone but we are dealing with her anemia is the worst so i went and got some grower i got medicated grower feed it's got the of course it's got the medication in there and it's got added minerals more protein so i will feed that to our birds in the backyard and to this bird to kind of help build their blood back up and then slowly transition them back <clears throat> it's the end of the day and i was hoping it would cool off so i could make this video but it is not i'm out here grilling we got we got some steaks on the grill Ooh, sticky. it's gonna be delicious but <laughs> i digress so we will be feeding them the medicated stuff and then slowly transitioning them back into layer once they get a little bit older uh, right now they're not they're not yet at the age to start laying eggs um but so i want to build them up and get them healthy and then i'll transition them back into just their regular non-medicated stuff and and they'll you know of course they're they're pretty much uh free range as it is so they're getting grass and the the chlorophyll chlorophyll more like borophyll right but the chlorophyll in the grass is helping them to detox any kind of other stuff out of them so that's good i am going to i do have this spray my buddy lives in texas he owns a, a pest company and he sent me this stuff and um so i will actually be spraying down our chicken tractor that way i can make i get it in the crevices as anywhere i can get that way i can make sure there's no mites in there because i definitely i don't want to bring meat birds in there raising them in the they can't full they can't grow out because they're anemic too you know i just don't want that to happen again so we're going to go through as much like as as much as we can to we're going we're gonna to do as much as we can to kind of like combat this and fight it and get them healthy because nobody likes when their birds aren't healthy you know and definitely don't want them spreading anything to any of our other birds so that's uh that's that's our update for the food and on our chickens and on you know what we got going on right now it was not fun having to chase honey down to get the chicken that's that we're going to figure that out too she doesn't chase or hurt the older chickens it was just and it could be because the the this this uh samani you know it's it, it's it's not fully healthy you know so animals know survival of the fittest type of stuff so I, I can't be mad at her, but we definitely want to monitor her and, and keep an eye on her so she doesn't do that stuff again. But, uh, yeah, so two bags, two 50 pound bags mixed with spent grain last me two weeks. So continue to keep track of it. That way I'll be able to order, get a good order, make sure I have enough feed for the year and stuff when I do order in bulk and non GMO feed and uh we'll go from there can't wait i'm getting i'm getting there i'm getting better every single day like like justin road says you know one percent every day it's, it's progress and we're doing it we're getting better so we got a lot of projects coming up here soon it's uh it's it's transition time it's time to time to to get things almost you know ready for uh i could probably do a second planting on some things or or uh <clears throat> succession plant so I might try to do some something like that, but uh, this this heat has got to chill out for a little bit. Um, 
or else I'm just gonna be doing things at night. And oh, yeah, I'll be out there with a black light showing you what I'm doing. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, well, appreciate you hanging out with me today. And uh, like I said, the PO box stuff is in the description. I appreciate everybody who's reached out to us and wanted to send stuff to the kids and and things. So yesterday was Wade's birthday. He just turned five. Um, he's super excited to be a whole hand. <clears throat> And then uh, Friday will be Chastity's birthday. So we got a lot of stuff going on this week. So not too much filming. That's why I wanted to make sure to get on here and give y'all an update on the food and how things are going. And uh, just talk to you for a little bit. I missed you. Appreciate you. We'll catch you in the next one.